Families impacted by suicide united to remember their loved ones today while offering encouragement to those struggling to find hope. Jewel Hillary has that story. Me getting out uh, and sharing my story is helping others and helping me overcome that grief. Just a few days before his 21st birthday in August of 2022, Opokua Oseya Boa son Jared committed suicide. She says at the time she didn't realize her son, a high achiever, pursuing a career as a nurse practitioner, was suffering mentally. My son, Jared, was an A student. He graduated from Oak Park River Forest. High honors. On a bright and sunny Saturday, Opokua united with hundreds of others who have experienced similar pain. The American Foundation for Suicide Prevention's Out of the Darkness Walk along the lakefront brought awareness to suicide and raised funds to help prevent it. I think a lot of us here who have uh, lost a loved one to suicide or have been worried about someone who's considered suicide or survived an attempt, I really do think for us, you know, we're trying to do our best to make sure no one else has to do that. According to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, in 2022, more than 49,000 Americans died by suicide, and it's estimated that more than one and a half million people attempted to take their lives that year. Let someone know because everybody in some way has damage and feel alone. And if you reach out, you're probably gonna find someone who understands. We just have to be aware that there are more people out here suffering from uh, these types uh, of events. And we want to make sure that we have a clear understanding, but we also want to stand shoulder to shoulder with the people. Opokua says many days are still very hard for her, but events like Saturday's Out of the Darkness Walk give her hope. It's very, very reassuring to let me know that my story is not unique and that other people out there have the same or similar kind of pain. Reporting on the North Side, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News. If you or someone you know is in crisis, you can call or text the Suicide Prevention Lifeline. That's at 988.